Welcome back to D20 Tactics. On this channel, I play Dungeons & Dragons with my friends, and we explore combat scenarios and play out the tactics used to defeat monsters quickly and safely, giving you more time to get back to roleplaying. I'm your host and Dungeon Master, Sarsen Zero, and today I'm joined by Dingo, Azure Wolf, Blind Oracle, and Restricted. Together, we'll run through typical battles that adventurers might see playing Dungeons & Dragons. This is the fifth encounter attacking an orc raiding party, so if you missed the start, you can find a link to it in the description below. Grab your dice, draw your sword, and let's jump into combat. Hit points, abilities, spells, items in hand. Blind Oracle starts off. I have 50 out of 50 HP. I'm holding my short belt. My sneak dice still work. Then go. 51 HP. I have my great axe in hand. Second wind and action surge are back up. I have five potions of healing, potion of stone giant strength, and that's it. Azure Wolf. Azure Wolf has 49 HP topped off, and I have two first level slots remaining, two second level slots remaining, one third, one fourth. I have five charges on the wand of magic missile left. I have used up my arcane recovery. And restricted. I have 41 hit points. I'm holding a plus one magic shield, two out of two channel divinity, four level one spells, zero level two spells, two level three spells, and zero level four spells. Monsters, abilities, items, and numbers. So this encounter, we're in the cave network that all of the orcs use as their lair. They have a couple of other monsters that they keep with them. So this encounter has one Etten. Ettens are two-headed giants. They have advantage on wisdom perception checks. That'll give them a much better passive perception. They have advantage on saving throws against blinding, charm, deafening, frightening, stunning, and unconsciousness. They have battle axes in one hand, and they have morning stars in the other, and they can swing with both of them because they have two heads. They also have an ability called wakeful. When one of their heads is asleep, the other one is awake. Two giant boars. Giant boars have a charge attack. Who would have thought? Gotta love it. They have tusks, and the tusks do some slashing damage. If they move 20 feet straight towards a target and hit it with a tusk in the same turn, it does an extra 2d6 slashing damage. And if the target's a creature, then the creature has to make a DC 13 strength save versus prone. Giant boars also have a relentless ability. Relentless if they take 10 damage or less, that would knock them to zero hit points they go to one hit point instead. They could do this once per rest. And nine orcs. Seven of the orcs are on foot and two of them are riding boars because if you got a giant boar, you might as well ride it. Orcs are the same orcs that you know and love. They have aggressive so they can charge forward with a bonus action as long as they're moving towards a hostile creature. They have great axes and they have javelins. Let's take a look at the terrain. We've got some water features. Water is difficult terrain unless you have a swim speed. The black is impassable terrain. I can't move through that. The yellow is difficult terrain. There's a couple of sections where it's just difficult to go up. Other than that, yeah, it's just tight confines. We're out of field tactics and into close quarters tactics. One singular piece of dangerous terrain, which is the fire pit. Fire is 2d6 if you move into it voluntarily or otherwise, or if you end your turn there. That's what our terrain layer looks like. Tactics, what do you guys think for tactics? We stand in this choke point pretty far back, and then when they move up, warm up. We could probably save the fireball and I just drop a spirit guardians instead. We could do both. That would be a lot of resources for one end. If you're running low on resources, I've got two fireballs left. I have two spirit guardians, and I'd rather keep the fireballs for the range. It's not one et, and it's also, you know, nine orcs. Those orcs aren't really a huge consideration. They might get lucky, but essentially if they get hit by fireball or spirit guardians, they're probably going to die. Yeah, but this is going to come down to an issue of, like, always, can we get up there first to be the blocking point? If not, then that's going to change things. I will say that Spirit Guardians is a concentration spell, so I would need to either be dodging or have somebody blocking for me when I'm casting that. All right, Spirit Guardians and Fireball. You guys ready to get going? Yeah. Cool, let's do this. Everybody roll initiative. You know what? I've had the same initiative for three encounters in a row now. Anybody have higher than a 20? Anybody have between a 20 and a 15? 16 for the fighter. Anybody have between a 15 and a 10? 11 for the owl, 10 for the wizard. Anybody have between a 10 and a 5? Rogue has a 9. 8 for the Etten. Cleric has a 6 again. Dingo, you're up first. I'm going to move up where there's only one piece of terrain. I'm going to regular action dodge. Owl. Oh, really? Okay. I'm going to move the owl to west of the fighter there, dodging. After that, we go to the Azure Wolf. Move up to face down the thing and shoot at... That's an orc right ahead, straight ahead, right? There's an orc riding a giant boar. Let's go for that orc. Firebolt. Jaguar or boar? Giant boar. Jaguar. 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 15 on the die. 15 on hit. Six points of fire damage. Turn. After that, we go to the blind oracle. Hide bonus action from where I'm standing. 23. And then we're going to move... 
I don't actually need to get that close. Yeah, let's just take the shot from there. 27 to hit. Hits. 22 points of damage. Surprising no one, that's gonna drop. That's an orc down. Yay. After the blind oracle are the Ettons. The boar is gonna start this off. If you're gonna get in my way, I'm gonna try to dislodge you. Is he gonna be squeezing through this space? He is, but that's not gonna impose any disadvantage on athletics checks. I just mean for movement. He's got 40 feet of movement, so even if every single one of those spaces was difficult terrain, and they're not, he would still be able to make it to you. So he's going to charge at you and try to knock you backward. Go ahead and make an acrobatics or athletics check at your option. That'll be a 28. Okay, he gets a 12. That's going to be him. This orc is going to move to there and take a shot with a javelin at the dodging fighter. 10 to hit you, and then he's going to move back. Can't see anybody, so he's just going to move. Not 1 to hit you. Nope. Four is going to move to there and dodge, and the rider's going to throw a javelin. You're going to get cover, but he's going to get a 12 to hit you. Nope. Oh. going to throw a javelin from there. He's going to get a 14. This guy's going to throw. He's going to get a 9. This guy's going to throw. You get cover. He's going to get a 10. This guy's going to move to there and ready action to throw if anyone comes into his sight. The Etten does not have a ranged attack. He's going to hang out and dodge. There's no reason not to. Restricted. Move behind the fighter on the left side there. Cast Spirit Guardians. Enter. Dingo. I'm going to attack. 17 plus 8. 17 plus 8 is 25. 16 slashing. 14 to hit. That'll connect. Or another 16 slashing. After that, we go to the owl. I think the smarter move here is to keep giving Oracle the advantage, because he'll do more damage with crit fishing. So let's do that. Aggravate the mammoth for Oracle. Age your wolf. Firebolt. Ignore impartial. 18 plus 8, so 26. 26 hits. 7. And that's it for me. After that, we go to the blind Oracle. Yeah, I'm just going to take the shot straight away at the uh, boar, boar, jag thing. I, yeah, it's a puma. I don't suppose a 14 is going to hit it. 14 connects. Right. AC pants, officially, for 20 points of damage. 20 points of damage is lethal and overcomes the relentless ability, so it does not stand up. Oh, good. Nice shot, kid. <laughs> Sounds like a vanish help on that one. Yeah, it did. I'll hang out here. After that, we go to the Ettons and friends. The orcs are going to throw javelins at the fighter. This guy is going to throw. That one going to move back. This guy's going to move into position and throw. He's going to get an 18 to hit your fighter. That'll hit. Take nine points of piercing damage. And this guy's going to move back. Boar Rider is going to throw at the fighter. He's going to get a 13 to hit you. Boar is going to move back and dodge. This guy's going to go, and he's going to throw at the fighter. He's going to get a 12. This guy's going to go. He's going to get a 22 to hit you. That'll hit. Take 7. At 35 HP. And then he's got two squares to there. This guy's going to hop down. He's going to get a 19 to hit you. Yep. Take another 7, and then he's going to back up. This guy's going to do the same thing. He's going to hop to there. He's going to get a 9. That's going to miss, and he's going to slide through his friend there. The last guy's going to make his way over to there. He's going to get a 12, and that's going to miss. The Etten is going to dodge. After that, we go to the Restricted. Yes, the walking Radiant Fireball shall advance and dodge. After that, we go to the Dingo. I'm going to move up to those two hiding behind the pillar and attack. Is a unnatural 20 hit. Yeah. 12 damage. 21 to hit. Yep. 14. 14 drops him. Bonus action. Second win for 14. Healing. After that is the owl. I think I'm going to move him just to the edge there of the circle. After the owl is the Asia wolf. That one peeking around the corner has got partial. That guy's got three quarters. You could magic missile him. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do is just shoot another two charges. That is a five. Five damage, four missiles, 20 total. And that guy will drop. Yeah, I'm going to move... Basically where the owl was before north of me, up to the wall. After that, we go to the blind oracle. I'm trying to figure out if the space next to the owl is valid. It is. Okay. I can't hide behind the owl. No. <laughs> Just hold the owl in front of you. <laughs> you can hide here. I think that's what we're going to do is go hide there. So move up to that space. I'll throw the hide check for you. Let's say 26 to hide. Ooh, if I can take the guy outside the circle, we'll take the guy outside the circle. He's got cover, but he got advantage in plus eight. Does a 20 hit? 20 connects. Perfect. 24 points of damage. We'll drop him. Excellent. Etten's turn. We're going to start up here. This guy's going to throw a javelin at the cleric. Why would he do that? I haven't attacked anyone. Well, why indeed? 23 <laughs> to hit you? With disadvantage? 
19 to hit you. Beautiful nine points of piercing damage too. All right, and then he's gonna back up. This guy's gonna throw. Nope, he's gonna get a 10. Let's clear out some space here. So this guy's gonna start his turn in the zone. That will be 16 damage. DC 15 wisdom save. He's gonna fail that, and it's gonna be lethal for him. This guy's gonna try. He's gonna fail also, give me some damage. Nine radiant damage. He's gonna make it. And then he's gonna go, and then he's gonna swing an ax at you. You're dodging. He's gonna get a nat one. Oh, poor thing. Four, I think, is the smart one to go next. So give me some damage. 16 radiant damage. 16. Are you a smart boar? Nope, you have a minus two to your wisdom. He's gonna fail for 16, you said. And where did my boar go? What do they do to my boar? It's a jaguar. That's why you can't find it. Yeah, that's the reason. He's gonna try to tusk you. Gonna give you some tusk love. Nope, that one's also taken. 14 to hit. Nope. And then the orc on top is gonna make a save. He's gonna fail. He will take eight radiant damage. He's gonna swing with an ax. He's gonna get 11 to hit you. That's a miss. The Etten has a movement speed of 40. I'm one square away from fighting that fight. <laughs> <laughs> he can dash. Yeah, that's the thing I want to do. We're going to get into position here and dodge. He provides weapon, throw your weapon. No, I'm not going to throw my weapon. <laughs> He's got two of them. Then we're going to go to the restricted. Uh, now I have a choice ahead of me. Do I want to dodge to try and get more hits in, or do I just want to stay where I am or disengage? i got to keep dodging. Dodge? Do I move after the dodge, though, is the question. Yeah, I say you move up because you can hit those orcs. I will dodge and then move to the spot to the left of the fighter, prompting three opportunity attacks. Here's the orc. Orc's going to get a nine. It's next orc. Oh, the next orc gets a 16. The boar? Uh, the boar is going to get an eight. End turn. After the restricted is the dingo. I'm going to move up to the orcs on the northwest. And I'm gonna attack. You never would have guessed it. 16 to hit. 16 hits. 12 damage. And then a 23 to hit. 14. Take that guy out. And turn. After that, we go to the owl. Let's move him up and that one directly east of us. Aggravate him for the blind oracle. That or aggravate the mount so I can keep the orc in the spirit guardians. Ah, yeah, that's actually a better idea, actually. Let's do that. Good call. Here's your wolf. I'm gonna shoot that orc. You had one orc. The one that's right, sticking his head out right around the corner there. It's got half cover, so you ignore it. 13 plus 8, 21. 21 will hit. 15. Well, he's got six hit points left, so he drops. I think I'm good where I am. After that, we're going to go to the blind oracle. Let's go ahead and move up so we can see the mount. And we're going to take a shot with the bow. 17 or 17 says 25. Hits. That's damage. 29 points of damage. That will drop the boar. I have a bonus action and some movement left. Orcs don't have a ton of hit points. Not ones that stand in Rift of Guardians, though. No. Sure, let's make it so that the odds are he doesn't live through this. Move up, fast hands action, throw a vial of acid. Ooh, fancy. I'm going to use this fast hands for all it's worth. This is an improvised ranged attack. I don't add my proficiency bonus, but I do add my dex. 10 doesn't do it, though. 10 is not going to do it. I'll move back. That's my turn. After that, we go to the Ettons. Let's try to turn off this dwarf. Their movement is halved inside of Spirit Guardians, and also that DC 15 wisdom save for entering. Sounds good. I'm going to fail. And that'll be 10 radiant damage. Plus 7 to hit you. 13 on two dice. We can do this. First one, 16. Nope. And the second one, an 11. Ah, uh, not quite. Orc is going to start his turn in the zone. 14 radiant. 14 or 7, he's going to die either way. And this guy's going to start his turn in the zone. That will be 16 radiant. And he's going to fail, so he's going to take all of that and draw. Then we go to the restricted. Dodge and end turn. Dingo. I'm going to walk up to the ledge, and I'm going to stick to the plan and attack. Yikes, is a 12 hit. It says 12 hit and Etten. A 12 hits and Etten. Okay, perfect. Nine damage. And then uh, my other one was a 14. And then <laughs> even bigger, eight damage. And then I'm going to action surge. 21. Yep, that'll hit. 12 damage. 21. It still hits. Oh, this is a good one. 15 damage. The end my turn. Ow. Aggravate for the blind oracle. Here's your wolf. Firebolt. Has an 18 on the die. Yep. 15 points of fire damage. And I'm good. After that, we go to the blind oracle. Lead with the shot from the short bow. 19 to hit. Mm-hmm. Ugh. 18 points of damage. Well, you only needed 16, so this guy's going to drop. Oh. Well, okay then. Report hit points. 42 HP. 49 HP. 50 HP. 41 HP. End of encounter action. Is anybody doing anything at the end of the encounter? Dancing. Anyone less than half health and want some hit points? Or should I save them? I'm finally 
not at half HP for once. With the first chamber of the orc lair cleared out, the adventurers head in deeper to find the orc boss who organized the raid and put a stop to his destruction. Don't you mean organized? Now we're going to fade to black. We're not going to justify that with response. Five encounters down, one more to go before the long rest. Thank you for stopping by, and I hope you'll join us next week as the adventure continues. I'm Saracen Zero, and I will see you next time.